Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss question answers from the topic total WBC count. How to do calculation for total WBC count? Now, as we have discussed, this is our improved new bus chamber counting grids. I'm not in drawing. So here you can see it has got nine squares. Here they should be equal. I am not drawing. I couldn't draw it properly. Otherwise, they all are equal. This is one millimeter, one millimeter, one millimeter. This is also one millimeter, one and one millimeter. Okay. So length is one. This four are four corner squares are WBC counting area. Okay. So now volume of one square here you can see. Length is 1 millimeter and width is also 1 millimeter. And when we place, place cover slip here, there is 0.1 millimeter depth. So the volume would be length multiplied by width multiplied by depth. And that is 0.1 millimeter cube. This is the volume of 1 square. WBC counting square. So volume of this 4 squares would be 0.4 millimeter cube. So now you can say that in 0.4 millimeter cube, our count is n. So in 1 millimeter cube, the count is how much? That is n into 1 upon 0.4. Okay. So this one. Now we come to dilution factor. Dilution is 1 is to 20. So in 1 is to 20 dilution, our count is n into 1 upon 0.4. This is the count. So in 1 is to 1 dilution, because blood is not diluted, how much is the count? That would be n into 1 upon 0.4 divided by 1 by 20 is equal to n upon 0.4 multiplied by 20. That is equal to n into 50. So this is the calculation for total WBC count. Whatever cells you are counting in this four corner squares, you have to add them that is your n and multiply them with 50.